Hey guys, I'm back. I'm um, just going to show you the rest of my layouts. I kind of got cut off in my last video. It was full. Oh, my, I have a 4 gigabyte memory card and it only holds 20 minutes. So I should use my flip, but the flip doesn't get focused. So I'd rather use my good camera. But this is another layout that I did and I stamped and I inked the edges with silver ink. And she was so little there. Um, actually, this was in 2005. Um, did a lot of stamping with um, that ink. This is a uh, silver paint I stamped with with um, the foam, the foam um, stamp pads. Stamps. I think they're by Make and Memories. But this is a these are all Crave Memories. They're old Crave Memories. Here's another one. And what I did for this glitter right here is I um, I used sticky strip and I taped it all the way around as like a border and then I added glitter. And that's what gave the glitter border. It says follow your dreams. And for these I just put glue dots on there, added some glitter to some glue dots, some little photo corners. Um, this is another one, playing in the leaves. This is a lot of creative memories too. These are like little stickers. Um, and then this thing, I should have put like a slit right here, but this comes out and it has a journaling card. That was in 2005. So and I just put these on chipboard. <laughs> this is my favorite. Um, cry, cry, cry me a river. <laughs> She was so mad because she couldn't get her way one day. And I took her picture. <laughs> and there she was pouting. But what I did to journal here is I just painted here, let it dry, and then I journaled right over the paint. So, and then I put the two chipboard brackets. I painted those. This one is her with her little sunglasses little heart ones and then I have this on like a like a dangling thing that they I, it's hard I can't get it out and then I put her name on the side right here I think these are um autumn leaf stamps I put little hearts that I think I glazed them because they're kind of shiny and I stamped adore kisses and I love you and there's another dangling heart. Actually, here you can see it. You know what I use is one of those things that you use, like, that they put clothes on. Like, you tag clothes, and that's what it is. And it's just dangling. I have one of those tools. I'll have to show you guys. I'm not sure. It's an old tool, but I'm sure it can come back in handy. And this is just a simple one. Using just circles and some stamps. I really like the simple layout because, you know, if the layout was so, so busy, it kind of takes away from the picture. So that's why I kind of like simple layouts. And you'll notice some of my layouts are really busy, but then I kind of like toned it down and went like to the simple way. But it's all mixed and matched. This picture, this <laughs> this layout is isn't really done, but I kind of I didn't journal, but it's so funny because I'm like, oh, I have two of the pictures, but if you look closely, they're the same exact picture. One's cropped and one isn't. I'm like, oh geez, I scrapbooked the same picture and I didn't even realize it. I do that a lot. <laughs> so that's one. Another text. And this is her graduation, 2008 from preschool. And I rub, used some rub-ons on um, this chipboard and some thickers. 2008. So that's one book. Oh, I have to vacuum. My rug is like full of rabbit shavings. So this is a New York City um, layout that I did. Um... I don't know if you guys can see that. There you go. I used gold thickers and I used, um, oh, this is American Crafts. And picture of Times Square. I just blew that up to a 5 by 7 Put NYC because I love New York City. Love New York City. I wish I can go there more. 
<clears throat> and this is of my nephew Brayden when he was little. This is using, um, oh gosh, I don't even know what paper line that is. I got it as a kit when I went to a crop. I can't remember what it was. But I got that. This is my niece Madison. Put a little card, all oh, the places you'll go. Stamped um, um, white stays on right there. Some flowers. Actually, this was a piece of paper this white border and just cut it. It came like that. I think Dazzle. Dazzle's the one that makes those papers. This is my daughter and her best friend. <laughs> They're so silly and they were sticking out their tongues all the time and one of them said, we're bad girls, huh? So I had to use the title to with what they said. So until this day, they're good friends. They're the same age and they're in the same grade. So, and actually their mom is my best friend, so. Well, her mom, actually. This, this is my friend's daughter, and that's my daughter. This is in the pool, and actually that's the little girl's sister right here. And she's the same age as my daughter. So, this one's kind of plain, this layout. This one's a double layout that I did. Um, love this paper. This is this paper is by Sassafras Lass. It's the per oh, this is like one of my favorite paper lines from them. I could use this paper over and over again. And here's the other side to it. I didn't journal. <laughs> and there's Daddy and Chloe. And this is Chloe with her teacher. And there's my little gradu graduate. <laughs> I love how she did that with her dress. And that's her teacher. And this is her little class with all the little graduation hats on. I didn't really do much with this layout. Kind of kept it simple. This one's kind of simple too. I made a little flower. Just put some strips. And used the little notepad thing. This one actually has won a few layout contests. Um, when I first started scrapbooking, I entered this into a couple layout contests like a long time ago. Let's see, my daughter's going to be eight. So, like I said, I started scrapbooking when I was pregnant with her. So, it was a long time ago. So, this, this, this layout's gotten me a few prizes. So, and it's my nephew, Brayden, when he was little. It's a little folder. There's a little thing of him. I can't remember what paper line this is. Um, this one isn't really done yet. I used the little I Love School. There's her teachers. This was kindergarten, first day. And there she is, first day of school. These are doodle bug sticker letters. And this is a page I did of my husband on, he, this was, um, our wedding, this picture was on our wedding day. They took a picture of him. I didn't see him, but, um, one of his aunts took this picture of him and I just love this picture of him. Um, she took it outside and I love how the, the lighting is. So for these, I just folded some flowers and I wrote them like a little note here. This is husband, and then I like framed it with the paper, with strips of paper. I made that heart actually by myself. Um, here's another layout I did. These aren't my kids, but my friend, she won't mind that I'm showing her kids online. She doesn't, doesn't matter to her at all. Um, well, not that it doesn't matter, but she's my best friend. So that's the little girl, Kirsten and Madison. But this was a class layout that I taught. Um, at my mom's store. And I cut all these out. So this was a Christmas card that I cut apart. Here's another one that I haven't finished yet. I got a journal here. It's her playing. I think, are those chipboard pieces? Yes, those are chipboard. And then some swirls. 
big swirl or a big circle. Here's another one. These are with the fancy pants chipboard. You can get a huge thing of them and they're really cool. Um, love them. And you can, I have so many of them. And I have just painted them and then added the ribbon. It was her birthday. She was five. And this one is my old cat that I had. But do you want to hear a funny story? Is this layout I did. <laughs> thinking that this cat was a girl. So my neighbor ended up, I ended up giving this cat to my neighbor because they really liked her. I didn't have, have the cat long. Um, so I gave it to my neighbor and she's been, he, <laughs> turns out this cat was a he when they took it to the vet. So yeah, I scrapped it as a girl, but I like how the layout came out. It came out perfect. Every home is incomplete without a pet. <laughs> Very true. So that's another one. Let's see. Can I get focus? Okay, there we go. This is actually a layout I did at my mom's house. She had a class, so I actually took the class. And I wrapped some twine around there. Not twine, like embroidery floss. This is my nephew again. Put a few buttons there. Added some little googly eyes to the dinosaurs. <laughs> I never journaled. You'll notice that a lot. I don't journal. Um, added some buttons up here. This one really isn't done yet either. I still got to finish that. This is at the beach. This is all with Cosmo Cricut. I love Cosmo Cricut. And I pop dotted these up, stickled um, the little flowers. Unbleached hair. <laughs> My daughter's riding the waves. Oh, this layout. These are of my my cat Lola. She passed away on Mother's Day. I have a video. Um, it was Mother's Day last year, 2010. She had passed away, but her and her daughter had kittens on the same day, so we didn't know which kit kittens were which. Um, but there's one with his mouth open. So very sweet, I put. And these are with thickers. Here's another one. And here's mommy and mom. This is, oops, this one is Lola and that one was Stormy. I miss them. And there's all the babies. We didn't know who, who, what baby belonged to who. As long as they were being fed, there's one. This layout makes me sad. <laughs> this layout is my dog, Willow. This is my favorite layout, too. I love how this... <laughs> this paper was all done with close to my heart paper. I used some thickers, and then I kind of like just made like a square. I dotted a square and put all the little things, the paw, the bones. I love you. I love this layout. I could stare at it all day. This is my great grandma. She's not with us anymore, but she loved to dance. And this is at her at her at my cousin's wedding, and she was having a ball. And she lived to be ninety-five, I think, ninety-five. So, and I just used my Sizzix dye and used the Tim Holtz distresser to distress them, and then use the clock. Put a moment in time. Made it a simple layout because I wanted this layout to focus more on her. Here she is again, my grandma. I haven't really done, this is a double layout. I haven't really done much because I have another picture I want to put of her there. And then I want to journal and stuff. This is another one where I crinkled up the flowers and used the petals and wrote stuff on the petal. This is all American Crafts paper. My daughters and a gunkwit mane, they were on the marginal way. And this tree was awesome, so I wanted them to sit in the tree. This one I haven't finished yet either. 
I should get back to scrapbooking some layouts because I really miss it. All the altering stuff is like taken over, but now that I'm sitting here looking at my scrapbooks, I kind of want to get back into it. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> um, where we went apple picking and I put the bird on the tree thing. And that one's not done yet. Just did some kind of cool thing with the flower there. I just put everything in there so it didn't get ruined. Another picture of my daughter with Willow. Hung a bird cage. Actually, I just did this one recently. <clears throat> actually, the, this one I did actually last month. I take that back. I did. Hmm. Me and my husband. I still haven't finished this layout yet either. <laughs> We're silly. And I used... um stardust um uh, embossing powder which i is my favorite embossing powder it's so glittery i put the lips there and i did the skull <laughs> this one's not done yet either i won't even this one's really simple is it gonna focus focus there we go um i just cut out like a tree and then i use a circle and put a couple sparrows Put grow. Another sparrow right here. And like I said, I love to like color block all of them. Another picture I took of her. She was actually holding like a little, um, oh gosh, what's that? The things you blow, like to make like dandelion things that you blow and they go up everywhere. Those. Here she is again. This one was really, I took a bunch of like dot circles and then added the buttons and this is seven gypsies um um tag and it says so much to love about you and it says she loves horses wonderful smile her big blue eyes she loves to cuddle or no she loves to color cuddling with you giving kisses giving hugs loves dollhouse watching flicka and going to the farm this is my nephew Brayden again. I used the Paper Pops um, Cricut cartridge for these and popped out the birds. Used some stickles and made it look like some water. This is, um I can't remember what font that was, but here's the strips that I did of, of um, journaling. I have a Sizzix die that does these swirls, but I like it because you can just bunch them together and make them and popped out the little, this is from Doodle Charms, this sun. Popped it out, used some stickles. <laughs> he didn't have his bathing suit, so I just let him run through in his pull-up. <laughs> that was in 08. <laughs> I'm going to be cutting this to the last layout, and then I'll head to number three. Um, this is another layout I taught, and I sewed the sun Put the little stitches there. Put the birds. My daughter. It says, sunshine on my shoulders makes me happy. Cut out the flowers. It says, daddy and Chloe. Actually, I can do one more. And this one I just did, like, they're on, like, little sticks of ribbon. My daughter, Jordan. And I have a journaling thing that pops out right here. And this is my nephew, Brayden, again. This one I kept really simple. He just went and laid on the rock like that. And I put, life is beautiful. There's another one. This is childhood memories. So, Okay, guys, I'm going to stop this video right here. And I will come back with video number three. Talk to you soon. Bye.